welcome back to my living room, which takes place to be in my garage this time of year. And welcome to the clutch side of the crankcases for a DRZ400E. And this video, my description, and which is in the description, is talking about not showing you how, but just showing you what I did. If you want a better how-to or explanation of the clearancing for the ACT wide ratio transmission for the DRZ, go to their page or their channel and look at it. They have a much better video. But this is just me sharing my experience. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and pull this off here. This is the transmission main shaft. And shown here, let me see if I can get my light over here, is where I've clearanced the cases. Let's see, I'm trying to look through my camera here. Okay, so you can see that that's an out of round area there. But I had to remove that material because this, the fifth gear, is so much bigger that it runs into interference of of that and again I'm not a perfect mechanic so I might have removed a little more material than I needed to but I made enough to where this spins freely and just for what it's worth this is not keyed on there so it, it's held on into place uh, with a circlip let me see with a with the sir clip right there yep so it's held into place by that and then the next thing that I'm going to show you is again this is might be a hack job compared to what some of these professionals do is the interference on this shift fork and I might kind of clean that up a little bit more you can see Let's see, get my light on here. That I removed material from the top of the surface of the where the rod goes through and some of this flat surface. Let's see if I can create a little bit more shade so you can't see of the shift fork because there's a tremendous amount of interference with fifth gear see so what I'm going to do to show you that is I'm going to place this gear which is next on there again I'm not putting the snap ring or circlip got my hands full here I've slid this thing on here perfectly once I turn the camera on that's when you're destined to have trouble. Okay, I'm trying to stay out of your way here. So, again, the material that I removed, that's going face down. And I'm putting that in to its area it goes. And I'm just doing this for display purposes. see that there's it's not grinding against it or anything and it's happy there's no interference let's see now you can see so that was a success I that was probably the most of the difficult uh, portions is taking care of the interference on this one and I'm going to have to break here for a second to set up this other because it's just going to be a little bit of time because i got to install the counter shaft that's setting right here and the shift drum to illustrate it being in fifth gear. And looky there. You can tell that's an E-model shift drum because there's no gear shift indicator um, sensor on on these 
so there's there's no place for the little spring-loaded uh, tit, if you will, for the sensor to detect it's in, set in neutral or not. So I'm going to break for a second, and I should be right back because I'm going to edit this. Okay, we're back at the station. I've got the... We've got our shift drum and our shift forks installed on their shafts. And what I'm going to try to do here, what I have this in, I have this in fifth gear. And so you can see we're not interfering. We're not having any trouble. So it's not running anything. And I'm going to show you why we're not. Because, and it's really kind of tough. I'm going to try to get zoomed in here just a little bit it's, it's tough but down here here's our first shift fork my grubby finger but the one that I removed material from is right down in here and if you saw earlier where I removed from it this is fifth gear again and it's so large that you got to create clearance and you kind of have to create it like a little bit of a circled area or a partial circle to be able to make room for it as it goes by there. And you can kind of see a little bit of that profile of that shift fork here. Let me move my finger right in your way. But it's right down in there and life is good. So I wanted to share that with you. And I'm going to share the rest of this build on my YouTube page or YouTube channel just to try to kind of share this experience because this is a big step up for me mechanically. Um, just kind of a pro tip. Again, I've not taken a transmission apart, but for the longest time, there was a sir clip that was right here, and it's not one of those sir clips that um, that has the end eyes on it. I actually have it sitting right here, and I thought that I had to unclip that from inside of this second gear. However, I was mistaken. What needed to be done was I needed to come back behind this gear and remove this circlip to allow this gear to come back away from it, which allowed second gear to come away from it, which allowed me to be able to take that circlip off quite easily and slip everything off the shaft, gain access to the next circlip. And then, of course, there's fifth gear. And this is on the main shaft. So first gear... You don't remove, and then let's see, there's there's fifth, fourth, third, and second. Because biggest, next to biggest, next to biggest, and next to biggest. And of course, first, which is on the shaft, is, is the smallest. So, and then I've got all of these gears mocked up. I've got new sir clips to put on there, but I went ahead and clipped them in place just so that I could, just so that I can get a feel for it. But they've arrived and I'm ready to get this whole transmission reassembled and continue on with my build, including uh, putting these bearings in. As And also, if you are an experienced builder, you would see that I didn't have my retainer uh, holders for the bearing for the shift drum and for the main shaft but we'll get that done also oh and check out my new stand my engine stand pretty excited about that so anyway i just wanted to share this and i hope it's helpful again this isn't a how-to if you comment on this I might be able to give you some pointers, but again, I'm a DIY guy. 
I'm not a mechanic, and I don't represent ACT. Until next time, thanks for watching.